guys, welcome. Today is my explanation on how you can use uh, external people or people within your organization that don't work in the office to edit your Lightroom files without having to take all of the raw files and actually give them um, every uh, a hard drive or something that has all of that information on it um, by using Smart Previews. So the first thing I just want to give you a little bit of a background on how I um, my workflow. I start my workflow in Photo Mechanic. I absolutely love this program. Um, here I've just loaded a um, photo shoot into here, a headshot shoot, and I very quickly it takes a little while to load in. Um, you just it's called ingest. You ingest it, um, but once it's in, it's so much faster. There's no drag. You can just click through really quickly and I just um, click through and I put one on the ones that I want to keep and that's it and then I go up here to file and select winner which is one which is pink I then go to Lightroom and set up a Lightroom file I've already done that here um, and most of the time for me all I do is I go pull these I drag all of them onto Lightroom and when you dra drag them onto Lightroom, you've created a file called Clark Lightroom, which is what, what I did. Um, and then it's going to create a catalog for you. A couple of things that are important when you import your files. So if you go into library and you were just to pull up import, you want to make sure that Build Smart Previews is checked. The Build Smart Previews is going to give you the opportunity to have someone edit them off-site without having to give them the raw files. They're just getting a little image, which they're going to make the edits on, and they're going to send you back the catalog, and then those edits are going to reattach to your original raw files, which is amazing. So um, you do this right when you import. As I said, I've already imported these. If you forget to do that during import, all you need to do is go to library, and you're going to go into previews, and you're going to just click here, build smart previews. And it'll take just a moment, and it'll build the smart previews. Um, okay, so that's it. Now I have my new Lightroom catalog with all of my favorites already called. I want to send this Lightroom catalog to Samantha who does my external editing. So all I do is I go up to file and I do um, export as a catalog. That's going to take me through. I'm going to create an export catalog. So I, here's all my export catalogs from the last uh, few days and you'll see that I have already Clark export. Inside that's going to be um, three folders. It's going to be your export LRCAT file, uh, your previews, and your smart previews. Make sure when you're sending this, um, what I do is I just upload the entire file to uh, Dropbox. She downloads the entire file, opens it. Now the, the great part, and I'll show you right here in my Dropbox folder, if it's open, yes it is. Here's my completed orders. When when she completes an order, so here's my, my files, I have new orders and completed orders. The new orders are the folders that I put in as I showed you. There's there's um, the smart previews in there and the uh, Lightroom. She's going to download that, make the edits, and then she re-uploads it. This is how we organize it into completed orders. Um, we use Asana, so I get a little note that she's done editing it. Uh, I get an email, and then I know I can download it. Um, and then when you download this, download the whole folder. The only thing that's in these folders now are the, and this is the only thing you need, you don't need the smart previews when you reload them, is the LRCAT folder. Make sure though that you don't just download this, because sometimes Dropbox is funny with that. Download the entire folder. Once the folder is downloaded, I'll show you right here in my download folders, I'm going to close Lightroom up here for just a second. And you can see in my download folder from today. I have um, a couple of different ones, but here's here's a folder that I'm going to edit. And that has all the edited files. These are all the retouched files. The other thing that she, not retouched, I'm sorry, these are all the Lightroom edited files. And then it also shows all the starred files, which are the ones that I am going to send out from here. Um, to retouching. These are my favorite. Uh, there's 29 images in there. We're going to print those images. We're going to map those images. And then when the client comes for review, they're going to be ready to go. So that's my workflow. I go from Photo Mechanic into Lightroom, save a Lightroom catalog, export the Lightroom catalog, upload the exported catalog into Dropbox. My external editor then downloads that, makes all the adjustments, re-uploads that file for me. I download it. 
which is the LRCAT file and everything is done. It's awesome. We don't have to deal with big files back and forth and it really helps with workflow. So anyway, hope you found this helpful um, and let me know if you have questions. You can just leave a question down below. Thank you.